Iris is a smart and enthusiastic girl with a huge love of the arts. My mom's name is Amy, my dad's name is David, and my dog's name is Elvis. Elvis? Mm hmm Does Elvis sing? No. I'm just proud of all of her accomplishments and she's a very good artist and <laughs> she does quite well playing piano and is starting to play the guitar a little bit. She's a very high energy girl. Um, she loves to run around and she's always rolling around doing cartwheels and loves to ride her bike. She just has to be really careful not to get hit in the chest or stomach and just by looking at her you would never know that anything was wrong with her. Iris was born with a cleft palate, which sometimes is an indicator that there could be something wrong with the heart. Iris has cardiomyopathy also, which is an enlarged heart, and she's slowly growing into the larger heart, so it's starting to match a little bit better. I've had nine surgeries. I wear a hearing aid because I have a permanent hole in my eardrum. You can wear yourself sick. It's just so scary, not knowing. And you just trust these doctors with your baby and that's all you can do. Sometimes Iris gets tired. That can be a warning sign. Sometimes when I feel tired, my heart stops and I pass out. And we're not entirely sure if the episodes of fainting are directly related to the cardiomyopathy or something entirely separate. Last Halloween, um, she had passed out right before we were going to a party. Her eyes rolled back and just twitched and stuff and just my wife yelled down, David! And actually at the hospital she passed out for five seconds. Her heart stopped beating and then she came to and then stopped beating for nine seconds. Oh, it scared me very bad. I, I had no idea what was going on. I thought it was possible that we might lose her right there. The Leash family went to the American Family Children's Hospital in Madison, where Iris received a pacemaker. We were able to put in a pacemaker that would allow her to sense whether or not the beats were coming normally, and that pacemaker was able to cause an electrical impulse to her heart to prevent her from having the episodes of fainting. She got a pacemaker put in. She did really well the whole time after that. And it was just a total blessing. I mean, it was just from down here to up here. The doctors at American Family Children's Hospital are the most caring professionals that we have been with. The Leash family enjoys each bit of good news, especially when considering the new challenges that have come their way. My husband was diagnosed with lung cancer and uh, he has now had the top half of his right lung removed and I still have one small spot. They're not sure if it's cancerous or not, so they're keeping an eye on it. I'm in a lot of pain every day. I put on a brave front, but deep inside I'm, I'm scared, very scared. This family has a strong bond. They help each other when they're hurting. If I'm sick or something, she'll Daddy, can I do anything for you? Can I get you a pillow? When Daddy is like thirsty and he can't walk, I get him like a glass of water. We have a very deep faith in God, and we know that whatever this is, God knows at first. There's a reason for it. I, I don't have to do anything to assure her. She assures us. All praise to the Lord, a new song. For he has done marvelous things. Tomorrow's Hope helps those like the Leash family by providing funding for programs and new technology to local health care organizations. Tomorrow's Hope is a great service. They really do bond well with families. They help provide a service that other organizations can't. They're on the front line with the families, helping them to work through difficulties. And they really, they really do a fantastic job. The future looks bright for Iris, especially as she chooses her future career. When I get older, I want to be a tattoo artist because I've been doing tattoos on my mom and dad with permanent markers and pens. 
when they're sleeping? No. I'm going to try that though. <laughs> what I want most for Iris is obviously to, to be healthy. Second to that, whatever it is that makes her happy, we will support her. Yeah, down the line and in the future, we're just looking forward to everybody getting healthy and just uh, enjoy life. <laughs>